I love when we can make a local connection to a great thing happening and it starts with a first time novel that's based on a tragic real life event written by Dowling High School graduate Robert Pascuzzi and his wife Kelly. They have now transformed the story and message of the book into a major motion picture that you can see this weekend. And here's a chance to learn more about the ravine. Pictures up, we're rolling and action. The Ravine, a passion project that is 10 years in the making, taking the audience on a journey through a very dark time in order to find hope. The whole genesis of it really was how can we take this event that was so dark and really, you know, on the surface, so tragic to so many people and try to help people with some type of message, to possibly bring hope to it. Um, we had no idea when we started this journey of writing the book how that could work out, but that was the motivation behind it. But there was a lesson in how to respond to negativity and to look for the good. Sometimes you have to really look for the good. It's waiting for you to find it. What we had found is even in the darkest moments, the one thing that always remained was hope because hope looks forward. Another big topic in this story is mental health and being aware of how our loved ones are truly feeling. We're close to people, we're friends, family, but a lot of times we miss these signs or we're just not in touch with them. And especially coming out of COVID, you know, so many people have been isolated. And I think there's an underlying message here in our story is, you know, we, we need to be aware, we need, to, we need to be able to communicate with people that we care about. And, and with tragedy, can come grief. It's one of the things that I'm really proud of this film is that we are bringing an awareness around the word grief. You know, the word grief makes a lot of people very uncomfortable. But what I found through my experience is life is uncomfortable sometimes and life is messy sometimes. And uh, we gave a real representation of what real life raw grief looks like in this film. This project even changed the lives of the performers working on the movie, including actor Kyle Lauder. Ultimately, what I learned through Robert and Kelly through this experience and ultimately hopefully what people get through this film is you can transmute something energetically that, that maybe starts off so energetically bad and negative and horrible. And he would be mad. And and develop a different perspective and, and, and then create a different meaning through it, a better meaning. Where do you go from here? And after watching this film, Robert and Kelly hope you embrace the message of transformation. Uh, behind us is the, uh, the image of the butterfly and it's very um, significant in our film. And I think the film is going to show the importance of transformation and how important change can be for all of us. And now here we are on the next step. And I think the idea behind it is if you find enough reasons why you want to do something, everything will fall into place. And that's what we've experienced here with being able to bring this from book to movie and now let it fly out there. There is a very subtle warning in this film that darkness really does exist. Um, and how you move out the darkness is through the light. And so that's what I believe this film represents is light to the world. And so it's no better time than Easter to come out with your friends and family and loved ones to really uh, embrace the message. Ask yourself something. Do you want to be guided by hate or by love? Now, this was a calling for Robert and Kelly, and now because of their faith and dedication to this project, the premiere of The Ravine is this Saturday, April 3rd at the B&B Theater in Ankeny. Now, the movie starts at 7, but starting at 6, you have a chance to take part in a book signing and photo opportunities with the director who's going to be there, actor Kyle Lauder, as you saw there, Sean Parr, and of course, writer and producers Kelly and Robert Pascuzzi. Now, if they can inspire another family and help them so they wouldn't have to go through a similar experience, they are continuing to accomplish their ultimate goal with this project.